All right, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Wahawar Chakwadash, which Yahweh, that's Heavenly Father's true name, Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, it's his true name, and Rachakwadash, that is the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well in the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing his word in all truth and in all sincerity. And uh, I just want to get into a lesson about eating what's sufficient for thee. And um, pretty much, um, you know, I was inspired uh, to do this lesson uh, because of, um, you know, of a recent fallout. Okay. And um, one thing that I noticed after you know he decided you know to hand in his walking papers and um decide to um you know push you know the you know these false doctrines that he's now teaching one thing that i thought about is how this particular individual he was constantly constantly you know reading all the time constantly watching videos all the time and basically what happened was all that honey all right, which that represents this truth, you know, represents the scriptures. He ended up vomiting, you know, these things out. He ate too much, pretty much. He got a tummy ache, and now it's all vomited out, okay? And, um, you know, I'll say this. You have to have a balance, you know, in this truth, you know, in your life. Because I'll say this, you, you can't be uh, over-righteous. Because actually the scriptures say, you can't be over-righteous. You know what, let's get that real quick. We'll start off with that scripture. Alright? Let's get that in the book of Ecclesiastes. And then we'll hop into this Proverbs. But let's start off with Ecclesiastes. I think it's the seventh chapter. The last verse, if I'm not mistaken. Salakia, yeah, give me one second to find it. I believe it's in this. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's in the seventh chapter. Wasn't the last verse though, but um, let's get this real quick. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 7 and 16. Be not righteous over much, neither make thyself over wise. Why shouldest thou destroy thyself? And see, that's what happened to that particular individual. Because he, 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 I'll say this, that guy was always OR all the time. He was very OR, okay? And he, he was always trying to study, which, okay, I'll say this, you know, that's a good thing to, you know, study, all right, read your scriptures, you know, listen to the apostles, the elder brothers, you know, get into some history books, you know, you know, watch some historical pieces, right? They, they, that, that's good to, you know, do those things, but if you're constantly in it, it's it's going to destroy you at the end of the day. And that's basically what's happening to this guy. Like I said, he ate too much of that honey. And now he's vomiting these things out. Okay? You got to have balance. Hey, go take a walk in the park. Hey, go exercise. Go deal with the lady. You know what I'm saying? Hey, whatever, you know, it is that you like to do. You know, carnally speaking, go do it every so often. All right, as long as it's righteous, of course. You know, do those things from time to time. You need to have a a a, a break. You know, from the scriptures, from videos, it, it, it could be too much. All right, and I'll just uh, finish off the seventeenth verse. Be not over much wicked, neither be thou foolish. Why shouldest thou die before thy time? And you know, you, you at the same time, you know, you can't. You know, indulge in, you know, carnal things like that. Hey, there's a limit to that as well. All right. But um, let's get this in the book of Proverbs, the 27th chapter. Okay. Because it talks about, the, you know, eating what's sufficient for thee. Let's get that. Um, Where is that at? Uh, I know, wait, hold on real quick. Where was this? Wait, hold on. Wrong chapter, hold on. 
Excuse me. Give me one moment. Oh, the 25th chapter. All right, this is uh, Proverbs, the 25th chapter and the 16th verse. And it reads here, Has thou found honey, meaning this truth, which we all have, okay? We all have, right? Eat so much as is sufficient for thee, lest thou be filled therewith and vomit it. So you got to eat what's sufficient for thee, okay? And I'll say this, you got to examine yourself. You have to um, do some meditation to see what's enough for you. And look, I can't tell you that you need to eat more or less. This brother can't tell you that you need to eat more or less, so to speak, right? You know what I'm saying? You you ultimately know, like, okay, this is my limit here. I sh you know, I shouldn't go past this. If I do, you know, this might not be a good thing. Or if I, you know, eat, 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 eat you know, eat too little... This is not good either. You know, you got to start thinking like that. All right? You have to start thinking like that. And, uh, you know, because look, when you vomit these things out, now what happens? You go back into the world. You will uh, eventually will uh, go back into this world. Okay? Um, I think it's Second Peter. Excuse me. I thought it was First Peter. But it says here in what? Uh, Second Peter. Um, let's see where I should start. This whole chapter, man, is, is a beautiful chapter. Um, basically, when you read up above, starting from the top, this goes into, you know, false, you know, prophets, uh, preachers, you know, guys that were in this truth. Okay, it talks about about these men. So you so you have a, a idea of what this chapter's talking about. Okay? This is 2 Peter 2 and we'll start at uh 19. While they promised them liberty, they themselves are the servants of corruption. All right, these guys that uh that that were once amongst us, they 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 they're actually um servants of uh, corruption. All right? You know? They don't teach the uh, 100% truth. The, these guys are, are sh uh, wolves in sheep's uh, clothing, as the scriptures say. You know? And here's the scary thing. You know, just a side note. Some of these guys actually think they're really men of the Lord. They, they honestly believe that they are the men of the Lord. Even though they're, they're pushing all these, you know, false doctrines, these abominations, as the scriptures say. Okay. You know, these blasphemies and and um and the Lord's got uh, uh these strong delusions on them that they believe that, you know this lie that they're pushing now. That's why the scriptures say what? It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. You 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 think you're doing the Lord's will and you're completely going off. That's scary. That's why we always got to be humble. All right, but let's keep going. For of whom a man is overcome, of the same is he brought, uh, brought in bondage. For if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world, and that those pollutions are talking about the ideologies of this world, okay? Through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, they, meaning those um, false prophets, pastors, right? Those false brethren, says, um, they are again entangled therein, entangled with what? The pollutions of the uh, of of this world, the the, the the false, you know, philosophies and ideologies, and overcome, overcome by them. Right, the latter end is worse with them than the beginning, and these guys are actually worse. Okay. They're worse now than when they first came into this truth, or before they first came into the truth. And that's because now that, that yeah, I'll put it like this. They have a, a knowledge of the truth, but they have no understanding. Okay? And these guys, you know, I'll say this. 
ones that basically taint, for lack of words, taint the scriptures or taint the uh, the true doctrine by trying to um, uh, uh, switch it around, remix it, right? Those guys are actually worse than, you know, a random, you know, gangbanger off the street, so to speak. And that's because they, they're, they're, they're trying to pollute a holy thing. And they're trying to stuff it down people's throats, man. And make them eat, you know, that, 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 that GMO food, so to speak. Okay? Instead of that organic, pure food. Which that's what we're giving the people. So they, they're, they're worse. And they, they, they have heavy demons on them. Because what do the scriptures say? It talks about how if that um you kick out that one demon, right, and he comes back, he's gonna bring you know several of his friends with him, several uh, spirits with him. Okay, it's in the Gospels. I uh, I know I uh butchered the you know that a little bit, but you know basically that's what it, you know it says in the Gospels. So they're gonna have more demons on them now. Okay, and then eventually. They're going to uh, uh, get a greater condemnation than the, the, a regular two-thirds, like I said, a regular churchgoer or, you know, a gangbanger, you know, you know, these type of guys. Because as it says in the book of Luke 12 and 47, they that knew the Lord's will and did it not, they shall be beaten with many stripes. Okay? But they that knew, knew not the Lord's will shall be beaten with few. See, these guys are going to get beaten with many stripes. Their judgment is going to be great, okay? But let's keep reading. This is 2 Peter 2 and 21 now. For it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness than after they have known it, to turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them. But it is, but it is happened unto them according to the true proverb. The dog is turned to his own vomit again. And that's uh, what these guys have done. They ate too too much honey. Now they um started vomiting it out, okay. And also vomiting out you, you know the worldly BS, right? And now they're starting to eat it, eat it all up. This sick mixture of of, of garbage, okay. Hey, but somebody had to fulfill these uh, uh particular prophecies. These these uh um. You know, uh, these scriptures here. Somebody had to play that role. And that's why we got to constantly pray that, you know, we're we're playing the role of those righteous, you know, prophets. Hey, those righteous followers and believers of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? And I'm going to finish it off. And the, and the soul that was washed to her wallowing in the mire. Alright? The point being, though, is you got to eat. All right, what's sufficient for thee? Okay, you got to have that balance. And let's get this and we'll end it off. This is uh, Proverbs, the um, the 11th chapter and the first verse. And it reads here, A false balance is an abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. So you got to have a proper balance of things. Okay? <laughs> down it's fine it's fine it's fine it's fine it's a lot here about that but you got to have a proper balance of things okay you know you gotta um you gotta uh you know uh, um salaki is just throwing me off but you gotta you know eat what's sufficient for thee all right you gotta you know basically you know, study, you know, the, the, the right amount of time, okay? You got to do the right amount of work, okay? Hey, you don't want to be uh, overdoing it with this truth, nor do you want to be underdoing it. Because you don't want to be, you know, you know, out here just, you know, doing, you know, uh, things of this world too much. Because then you can get sucked back into the world, you see? It's simple. But that's pretty much it. All right, I'm going to end off this lesson, and with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and salutations to all your brothers. Shalom.